is that women are having, black women in particular, mm -hmm. when it becomes to becoming a wife? Keeping it 100? Yes. There's not enough eligible black males who fit the needs of black women. Mm. By the time you dissect the demographics of finances, sexual orientation, uh, what you end up drilling down into, because black women tend to want to marry black men. Right, right. So black women are excelling. They're getting accelerated degrees, graduate degrees, doctorate degrees. They're starting businesses. Black women are running circles around men. Right. And it's also shown in research that women want to marry on their same level of financial and educational status. Yeah. So if you're a black woman making $150,000 a year with a master's degree, you tend to want to marry a black man on that same level or higher. If black women are excelling at such an accelerated rate, mm -hmm. how do men keep up with that? What do you think the challenge? I mean, there's really nothing to keep up with is if they become the man that they're looking for, there's nothing to keep up with. They're literally, it's crazy because she'll say it like it's a positive thing. Like she's saying is she, basically she said it's not an eligible black man. There's not enough eligible black man for black women. Right. But black women are becoming the man that they want. So I don't know why she's saying it like it's a positive thing. They're running circles around guys. They're doing this. Like, it doesn't help you. You know, it's like, like I said, it's it's almost like a guy who start investing into his appearance instead of his finances, his mental, his provision stuff. Like he if he's investing to the wrong things that won't get him a woman, it don't matter how great he's doing. Because the purpose of is the purpose of us out here is to procreate, create families and, you know, get a household, be black on. You know, I, I believe in black people should be black. People. That's me personally. If you choose to step out, I don't really, none of my business. I don't really care for it. I'm not going to sit here and say, don't do it. Be who you want to be, you happy. But I, I only date black women. That's just me. But if you tell me black women are out here very educated, that doesn't do nothing for guys. They do absolutely nothing for us. If you tell us that black women are out here getting a lot of degrees, it doesn't do nothing for us. If you say they are here is creating businesses, it do nothing for us because again, they're becoming the man that they want. All the things they're investing into does not help them. It does not help them. It doesn't put a it doesn't put them in a um in a class of their own. It doesn't make them be more feminine, it doesn't make them be more submissive, it doesn't make them be more attractive. There's zero benefits other than survival taxes. Like let's say she's more financially stable, she can take care of herself. But that's the independent, strong mindset come from. But it doesn't benefit her in relationship aspect. So if they said there's not enough eligible black men, okay, that's cool. But they don't become, they don't because uh, when the women become, when, well, when black women become what they choose to become throughout their careers and their lifetimes, they become uh, eligible for black men too. They really, to be honest, they become uh, eligible for a lot of group of men, <laughs> a lot of race of men, to be honest. Because we just not going to set a black man like a lot of men at that point. We can't just set a black man because, again, if they're doing all this, again, it had, I feel like, not feel, I know this should have a purpose. What When black women say they're doing all this thing, it should have a purpose. And if their purpose is to be successful and stable and get their own finance situated, cool. But if you are trying to procreate, get a man, get married, create a stable household, the path that they're taking doesn't attract men. And the whole purpose will be that you want the right man to present themselves to you. The things that they do does not get that. If something is not working, you have to take a step back and figure out, am I in the wrong situation or am I just the problem? With black women, it's both. Wrong situation and you are the problem because first of all the characteristics you develop in the wrong situation it handles you as a person and you become the again the problem so again she's saying it like it's a positive thing there's not enough eligible black males who are fit to be who are fit needs of black women like it doesn't we don't have to Fit the needs. It just, it just. I, I don't really understand. Like it's crazy to me. It's crazy to me. because again, like 
if we already knew only a select few guys will get women out here. That was already given. But black women just choose to keep pushing themselves out and out and out and out and out. I always want to know how far black women will take it until they're all the way out the dating market space. All the way. Because, again, black men will date black women. But black women don't want to date black men. Because they'd be like, again, like she said, they feel like I make more money than you. I live a better lifestyle than you. I'm more educated than you which doesn't benefit the relationship in no type of way because she's not going to take care of him. She don't want to teach a man and she don't want to raise a man. So all the things that he's supposed to be doing, she has, and she can't do it for no man. And the men that do have these characteristics don't want to deal with her because she feels like she's in the same level as him. So that man can't lead how he want to lead. But like I'm scared, guys, like I'm scared, let's go to the next one. Like I'm scared, let's go to the next one.